Hello, welcome to I Love Stocks, and today we're going to talk about the medical marijuana sector. As you know, they took a pretty big hit here in the last week due to CanTrust. CanTrust violated regulations and caused this company to dip real hard. I mean real hard. It's one of the top pot stocks that I've been watching for a while, CanTrust. But um, what's this mean to investors? Well, right now they had some grow rooms that they had back in 2018, 2019 that weren't licensed and weren't regulated. So the regulations in Canada got onto them and ever since then this pot stock's pulled back. Also brought some more controversy last week was the government. Republicans and Democrats agree the landmark hearing at U.S. marijuana laws are a mess and they're wanting to regulate them and so they're having a war between bringing it, the Republicans want to make it a state-to-state -state mandate and the Democrats want to nationalize and make it a national, national law. So they're turning it into a race card. So who knows how long this is going to last. I mean, this is what really will cut the deal for the stocks to really bounce back if they do pass a regulatory national law. Even if it's state by state, as long as they can put that mandate out there, this sector, and I'd rather see it go state to state. It's the way most of our laws have been in the past, but they want it to be a federal regulation, which I can see that too. But you know, every time government gets involved, it's usually messed up. So let's first talk about the watch list. I created a nice little watch list that I've been having on here for a while. You can see that it's mostly red. ACB on top with the vol volume. It had a pretty hard sell-off. CGC, CTST, Cron, Hexo, MJNA. All these ones that I have with the volume highs are really the ones I like to pay attention to. And then they go down, the lower they go, the lower volume there is, the less volatility that can happen. But this is my watch list here. You're willing to go ahead and stop it at any time. That's fine with me. Copy and paste these things down, add them to your watch list. But it's good to keep these down in sectors. And we're going to talk about the first one, and that's going to be CanTrust. So let's put this thing up here. You can see it took a real hard hit in the last five days. Bam, 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 with a big gap down. Now, this you could tell this was going to be another sell-off candle right here on the daily. And then she kind of topped off here at, at a T, but then right the next day it went ahead and sold off again, sold off again. And then we finally had a small little candle right here which I would call almost a spinning top on a daily yearly daily chart with a low of 250 so I think it still can drop a little bit more we're gonna pull up the one the, the 20 day I have a low support right now at 252 you notice that was the year low I like to see some kind of fish hook pattern and I want to let you know that chart that I'm using today is called the TTM squeeze it's one that I've previously used a lot. It's great for beginners. It tells you when something's hot and it tells you when it's not. Also, I have my moving averages on here, the 9, the 34, and the 200 EMA. And I'll be using them as resistance levels. I like to see it respect that 9, bounce above that 9, and cross over that 34 for a swing trade. But if it starts to respect the 9 come Monday morning, I'll use this as a scalp trade. See... TST. You notice it's down over 100% 100% from the $5 high, which we did have a 550 high on the 20-day, one-hour chart. Now she's pulled back to 250, and we're at 256. So the bears are still on this because of the bad news. It could have a reversal, and I'll be scalping some of these pot stocks. I won't fully invest until I see that nine cross over the 34 and start to beat up on that 200. And that might be sooner than later. So actually, I'm going to put more strength on it crossing that 34 EMA. And the shorts will have to cover sooner or later. You know, same thing happened with Bitcoin. Bitcoin had that $20,000 run, and then it pulled all the way back lower than 5000 
but these are two different sectors and are run by two different and this and Bitcoin's not regulated like marijuana medical marijuana stock is going to be but it's in the laws and the government's talking about it so that's the good thing let's talk about another one right now that's CTST like I said if I want to see a reversal I want to see the 9 EMA crossing that 34 on a daily one minute let's look at the daily by the way we did start to cross it a little bit after hours it did have a high of right around the 261 area I'll buy a thousand shares or 500 shares at a time of this trade and try to bring it up to a resistance level of right around the 268 if a 268 breaks we can bring it back up to 280 to 287 and then I'll just keep on watching this trade but we are at a yearly bottom right now we did hit that 250 if it pulls back and I don't want it to if it goes below that 250 let's look for two dollars for our next support level but this stock's in bad trouble it can down it can dip more and who knows it might get delisted I wouldn't doubt it one bit really after what they've been through so the next one we're going to look at is going to be ACB this is one of our most popular stocks in the room we're going to pull up the yearly called this out perfect on the bounce there had a yearly low of 405 resistance to break was at 467 once it did that it ran all the way up to 1258 it's got some now this is one of my favorite profitable maybe pot stocks that are in this sector right now she did pull back back in that December sell-off last year you remember that when the spy dipped on down about 60 bucks and then retraced back up so here we are we hit that low at double bottom she bounced up and hit a high of right around the 1019 area and then she's pulled back and we're at 677 we still have more room to fall on this trade I'm going to be looking at it also you see the nines not respecting the 200 or the 34 it's dipped on down a little more in the last week let's pull this up to a 20 day this is one of my, like I said one of my most respected pot plays we got a break of resistance of 712 right now we're sitting down here at a low of 674 and we can go lower on it so I'm going to pull back that that I don't want to see it go no I don't think we're going to see 467 on it we'll probably see an equilibrium right here right around the 620 area I would all say we've already hit the pivot point of the year and that was up here at 712 but the 712 did get hurt last Friday and she did pull back under it so we can hit a support level at 619 that's going to be my second support I'm going to color that in with red then I'll know where I am but that's going to be my second support the first one's going to be right around 650 and then the third's going to be in this channel area right down here at 538 to 569 I think it can retrace back here off that 619 area so let's go to the next one we're going to talk about CGC this is another popular stock you know the CEO got fired from this job or he resigned it did pull back off that news pretty hard it dropped six bucks last week let's pull up to 20 day we had a high up here right around the 45 20 4460 area with a high of 4525 and she's been in the red ever since with a couple retracement bounces which they can be pretty generous on this trade this one here catches momentum and starts to form a fish hook and starts to bounce back up we can see probably resistance levels of 3525 and maybe 3665 and then you're willing to stop these tapes at any time did have a negative earnings it came out last week and she did kind of pull back off that so let's see what happens this is right now it's sitting at 3421 and that's where it closed at next one we're gonna this is CGC one of my probably top two to three stocks that I watch I also watch there we are talking about CTST that's the leader of the downturn here next one is Cron one of my probably my third favorite play from ACB to CGC and here we are at Cron Cron's pulled back pretty hard 
we have I had a bullish call on this thing to go back to 20 bucks when we were up here at the 1690 area around 1680 but she pulled back with all the other sectors in this sector right now we're going to pull up the one year I've got a low support we've already busted past the equal Librium of the pivot point, and that's where we are right now here at 1409. If it goes below that, we can see support level of right around $13 for a low, with your second support right here at around 1349. Magnify this up a little bit. You're willing to stop these at any time. Right now, we were in a pretty respectable area. But she's pulled back, the 9's pulled back, crossed down below that 34. It can cross down over the 200. If not, it starts to turn back up. We're going to get respect again on that 9 EMA. We'll pull up the daily one minute. That's on the yearly. Right now, we're, we're, we are respecting it after hours. As you can see, we've got the 20, the 34, and the 9 with a high of right around 1432. But we can hit a low down here again at 1410 and remember $13 is my low support on Cron. That's C-R-O-N. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Hexo. Hexo's took a pretty good hit. She was up here at 520. <coughs> Excuse me. 520 up here at a high and she pulled back. Lost probably oh, about 40 cents, 35 cents Friday with a low right here around 481. So let's pull up the 20 day, see what the 20 day or pull up the year on Hexo. Take another good look at this thing. Yeah, we got more room this thing can come down and look at the hard hit it's had from 840 all the way to 485. I see a low support right down here at 456 and maybe another one right in here right around 419 area. I'm telling you this thing can probably drop down to 419 this week and then start to retrace. We did have a 302 low on it with a 840 high so it was just running it had a nice little run and she's pulled back here in the last couple of months. And we had to break a resistance level right here, right around 707 to get up to that 840 area. So we pull back to about 419 is going to be my low call on this one here with the 456. And then we're sitting right here at first support level at 481. And that's going to be Hexo, H-E-X-O. MJNA is one of my favorite penny stocks that I've played. We've had a double bottom here right around 479 with a 441 low. This can run back up to six, six cents. That would be a pretty good little resistance area, six cents, and anything above that's gonna be a gift. So if you can get in this trade at 479, take it to about 546, and maybe hit a resistance level of 596, you'd be doing pretty good with this trade. 10,000 shares, $600 investment, $480 investment will net you 100 bucks. So, you know, you buy 20,000. That's probably how I would trade this trade. Maybe even a little bit more. It depends on the momentum. I always look at the level two. I always look at the time in sales. And I've always got that news ticker up there to see if anything pops up that'll bring this sector down or bring it up. But I'm always watching that tape and seeing how big the green blocks are coming in. You know, the money is where the, the maker is. The people put the money in. And the level two spread starts to tighten up, starts to widen, starts to get real volatile. I'll be watching this trade. This is MJNA. And the next one we're going to talk about is going to be Cali. I like Cali. Cali is one of my favorite CBD plays. Right now it's had a pretty hard little sell-off. We hit a resistance level up here right around the 22 cent area. Ever since then it's pulled back in the last three months. 
We got a double bottom right here, right around 7.2. I called this trade out right here, and she ran all the way up to 12 to 13 cents and then pulled on back. So if we see that again, that's going to be a real strong support, a really strong support. 0 0.0072 on Cali, that's going to be a strong buy area, very strong. You might not see it. You might get in at 8, 8 cents or yeah, 0 0.008. We want to bring this back to penny land. That's my support right here, penny land. And that's going to be the what I would call a pivot point on anything above that is going to be your start taking your profit. And I've got different resistances on this. We like to see 13 and maybe 14 and this goes up in increments like that. That's K-A-L-Y. That's one of my favorite CBD companies. Let's see what else. Pure is down to 6.1. It's also took a rough beating here. Pure will fall when the sector is not doing well. It's had some issues here lately. I got a low support at 5.78 to retracement bounce of right around 7.28. Somewhere in that area. But right now, we're going to pull this up to the daily. Low support is going to be right around the six cents area for now, and it can run up to seven to eight cents. But pure, I'm kind of not as bullish on it as I am by far with Cali, and they're all they're both of these two companies are related, they're brothers and sisters. And then we're going to be talking about one more here. Let's see if I can find one more on my watch list that I really like. You now Tillery. Yeah, let's bring up Tillery. Tillery's one that ran up to 100, I was playing this thing, and then it took a very drastic sell-off Friday, as you can see, from 45 all the way down here to 43.13. So that's a $2 dip on Tillery. I think it'll also fall with the sector. I'm probably my fourth or fifth bull bullish trade stock here right now. We did have a 51.03 high 20 days ago, and we pulled back almost $7 on this trade. I see a support level also right here at 41.67. We do have an ascending breakout right here, as you can see the chart pattern says, and we had a big old break on it. Same thing here, we got a descending pattern. So this stock Friday had a descending pattern and can drop down to this 41.67 with a low support of 38.94, and that's Tillery. I'm keeping all these on watch. The TTM starting to turn up on it, which is a, which I do like. So, well, that's it for I Love Stocks. You're willing to go ahead and stop this video at any time and write down this sector watch list that I have. I always look at the highest volume first. I can pull up the percentage ones that got beat up. CTST got beat up Friday with a 17% dip. CGC down seven. So these have been taking some pretty good hits. Can, that's another one that I used to play a lot. Let's pull this one up on a yearly. We had a yearly high on Can at 451. And now we're back under a buck on this trade. We're down here at 80 cents with a low of 73. We have a resistance. We got a break right at 94. And we got to bring it back up to this here support level of 151. You can see she took a dive right there. And this is one that I also like to watch. I mean, I was playing the heck out of it a year ago, a couple of years ago. Very good volatile stock, but she definitely pulled back during that December month, during the last three months of 2018. Recovered for the first couple, and then she's pulled back to a 73 cent low. And now we're sitting at 80 cents with two green candles at the end there. The squeeze is starting to turn up, start to kick in. So this could be a retracement bounce back up, back up to at least this resistance of 94. This thing's got to get back above a dollar. It is an OTC stock though. You just got to be careful in this sector. I wish everybody a great week. Also, I'd like for you to, and you know, I talk about me and Vegas are on channel all day long. I'm talking about my strategies. She's talking about options. She's also an options trader, and she's been doing very well in that. We, the room as a whole has a lot of good traders in there. 
You can always follow us here on, on Twitter. Hit that follow button. Vegas posts all kinds of alerts in here during the day. Talks about her calls that she does in options. And we had a couple of real calls last week. We had that BA call and then just many good calls last week with the way the market's been. Last week was a good week. So, and also, we have our Stock Twits page here. You can always follow us there. Hit that follow button. It'll take us straight to, to our Stock Twits page. And just want to leave on that note. And everybody have a great week this coming week. Keep the marijuana sector on watch. We are starting to hit a place where I think we can start to turn around and the shorts will start to cover soon. And just leave with the final note of I love stocks. Thank you.